A huge fuel tank from the space shuttle program completed an unusual odyssey in Los Angeles last night. Terry Okita has the story. Crews cut no corners in relocating a massive space shuttle fuel tank the size of half a football field across 16 miles of Los Angeles. Onlookers took selfies and watched from rooftops as the enormous tank rolled by. You're going to make a great astronaut because you smile a lot. <laughs> it took months to choreograph this move. Police closed streets. Public works altered traffic lights and utility wires to make way for the 66,000 pound tank as it skirted by trees, traveling at just five miles an hour. Astronaut Charlie Precourt. I can't wait to see it stacked in the vertical of the museum. It's, it's gonna blow people away. The fuel tank was shipped from New Orleans to California through the Panama Canal. It will eventually be displayed inside the California Science Center in full launch position, attached to two rocket boosters and the space shuttle Endeavour, which hitched a ride to Los Angeles on top of a Boeing 747 in 2012. Lift off. The tank, known as ET-94, was built to propel Endeavour into space, but NASA phased out the shuttle program before it could launch. Astronaut Kay Heyer flew on Endeavour and hopes seeing this will inspire young minds. Endeavour completed 25 missions. The 26th mission was awarded to Emmett International. Many challenges were encountered during the transportation of this 66,000 pound, 155 foot long, 30 foot wide and 35 foot high external fuel tank. However, Emmett's experience and success in the transportation industry moving large oversized equipment gave Emmett the edge in devising the means to transport ET-94 safely to its final destination. Since ET-94 is a one-of-a-kind historic relic built over 30 years ago, stipulations imposed by NASA and the California Science Center dictated that throughout all phases of the project, the fragile foam insulation coating that surrounds the tank's exterior would not be damaged by any lifting operations, lashings, transport operations, or contact with any obstacles during the process. Through extensive analysis and research, Emmett's experienced logistics, engineering and transportation specialists took 3,400 hours to carefully choose and design the most ideal methods of rigging, transportation and routing to meet the demands of this challenging move. ET-94 was being stored in an area close to where it would be loaded onto the barge for the first part of its journey, and this did not pose any unique challenges. On the other hand, the California Science Center is located in downtown Los Angeles, miles away from any barge transfer facilities. One initial challenge for the Emmert team was finding the best location to transfer ET-94 from the barge to land for its journey through the streets of Southern California. Emmert surveyed multiple existing ports and considered several potential barge transfer areas in the Southern California area. After an exhaustive search, the Emmert team determined that the best offload area would be Marina del Rey, which had its own set of challenges. Marina del Rey is primarily a pleasure craft marina, with no active barge or industrial work areas. Densely populated with condominiums, hotels, restaurants, shops and tourist areas, it is not an industrial port area where components of this size are typically offloaded. The Emmert team spent hundreds of hours in public meetings with local citizens, government regulators and agencies to present data and to discuss how Marina del Rey would be the most optimal location, even though this type of work had never been proposed at their docks. Eventually, all parties agreed that Marina del Rey was the best barge to land transfer area. Emmert developed a detailed study that included an overhead obstruction plan mapped in three dimensions. 
After extensive analysis, the final route from Marina del Rey to the Science Center was finalized at 16.5 miles. Known as one of the most highly populated and congested areas in the United States, extensive traffic studies and plans were prepared, including traffic impact studies, traffic counts, and engineering analysis of dozens of tight turn areas. Some turns were so tight that certain city and county authorities deemed them impossible to maneuver. Emmert's engineers had to overlay the transporter using two- and three-dimensional modeling with satellite images to demonstrate that the transporter configurations had the capabilities to operate and could safely negotiate the tight clearances. The selected route involved transporting ET-94 across highly traveled corridors, including the Pacific Coast Highway, Interstate 405, and alongside Los Angeles International Airport. Coordination with airport operations and the Federal Aviation Administration involved obtaining permits because the transport would involve the closure of city streets impacting airport operations, such as access to terminals and rental car lots. Notices of transport times and detour information were provided and coordinated with both the airport and rental car agencies weeks before the move and then on an hourly basis at the time of transport. In the spring of 2016, Emmert began Mission 26, ET-94's final and epic journey to California. Emmert's interlocked and hydraulic four-dolly system worked just as designed, allowing the team to install the dollies to the existing NASA transport frame. A satellite GPS tracking system was then installed on ET-94 to record both the location of the vessel as well as centrifugal force encountered during transport. Weather conditions were uncertain on the day of departure, and a second tugboat was called to safely maneuver ET-94 against strong winds in Louisiana's canals. On its voyage, ET-94 passed through the Gulf of Mexico, the Panama Canal, and clear customs in San Diego before arriving in Marina del Rey. Emmert scheduled 43 days for the barge transport, including contingency for bad weather and delays through the Panama Canal. The actual highway transport date was committed to months in advance, along with a planned Science Center fundraising event between ET-94's arrival and departure from Marina del Rey. So timing of the barge arrival was hypercritical, but no one could foresee and account for the rescuing of four stranded fishermen off of the coast of Baja from their sinking vessel that diverted the barge and required a full Coast Guard investigation. On day 39, ET-94 arrived at Marina del Rey. Emma drove ET-94 off the barge to the designated staging area for delivery to the project site. At 11 p.m., Emmert crews departed Marina del Rey along the designated route with the utility companies lifting each line and moving each signal or sign on a just-in-time basis. As a condition of the permits, ET-94 had to be transported in one continuous movement. Emmert committed to a total transport time of 18 hours and could not stop the transport for any more than a few minutes. Lengthy stops were strictly prohibited. For contingency, Emma included an additional prime mover and critical spare components as breakdowns would be too disruptive. The movement was scheduled on a minute-by-minute -minute basis as Emma needed to meet milestones along the route. Because of the time constraints, management of utilities and traffic was mission critical. Months prior to the transport of ET-94, Emmert worked with the utility companies in all invited coordination meetings and route surveys. Each overhead obstruction was identified, catalogued, and verified electronically. Each utility company was assigned the appropriate responsibility. Utility lines that could be prepared for the move in advance were adjusted. Others were modified by providing additional slack in the lines and checking for any seized bolts so there would be no delay during the transport. Using the three-dimensional imagery and electronic surveying, Emmert could accurately determine how far trees would need to be trimmed back. What Emmert could not determine is how much the trees would grow back before the move. Wholesale, large and evasive trimming was not allowed. All the trees on the route were trimmed to the approved and recorded amount. Weeks and days before the move, the trees were inspected again and re-trimmed if necessary. 
utility contractors removed over a thousand utility lines, street lights, and traffic signals to make way for ET-94 as it moved through the crowded urban areas. Incredibly, and due mainly to the cooperative efforts of all involved, all utilities were back in place and operational 15 to 20 minutes after ET-94 passed. California Highway Patrol worked in conjunction with local law enforcement to control traffic and pedestrian safety. A total of 12 CHP officers, 190 City of Los Angeles police officers, 46 City of Inglewood police officers, 28 Los Angeles County police officers, Los Angeles City SWAT teams, and Homeland Security worked on the transport of the ET-94 to keep the cargo and public safe. Relief vehicles with restrooms, fully stocked with food and water, were placed in front and behind the transporter. Emmett executed the work using 1,450 crew hours, steering the transporter through tight corners and crabbing maneuvers, following the charted radius plan. The total time taken to transport ET-94 to the California Science Center was just under the 18 hours estimated, reaching its destination with 10 minutes to spare from the allotted time. Safety of operations is paramount to Emmert International. There is the presence of potential risks due to the high level of activity in a small area in close proximity to the general public. Emmert employed two-way communications with all parties on a private channel. All safety directives were strictly adhered to. These included the wearing of appropriate personal protective equipment. Non-essential personnel were not allowed into the work area, and only those people directly involved in the operation were provided identification and given access to the work area. All operations were safely performed under the care, custody, and control of Emmert International. Through extensive pre-analysis and research, Emmett International was able to complete the project safely, securely, and without incident or cargo damage. All were united as thousands watched ET-94 inch its way through Los Angeles. When you're able to bring a community like the City of Los Angeles together, you know that you have performed a special project. And then, finally, we have... Uh... Uh, some words from your families. Uh, they wanted us to let you know that they had a great time at the launch. Uh, it was a great launch. Uh, it was very, very nice. They appreciate everything you did for them and wish you all the best of luck in your flight. They had a great time and they'll be coming back home soon.